Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cascader to edit any animation you can find in Mixamo. I will share some tips and tricks that will help you clean up your animation or completely change it, should you want to. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's go! First things first, let's download something. You can retarget the animation to your character straight in Mixamo or if you own a pro version, you can do it in Cascader. Just go to Edit, Retargeting Copy, Retargeting Paste. So, I have a character with a standard running animation from Mixamo. Now say I want to change this animation. For example, I don't really like the position of the hands, especially in these frames, and I might as well change the pose a bit. To make this animation easy to edit, let's unbake it first. But before we do that, let's turn on Auto Physics and check if the fulcrum points have been determined correctly, as they are crucial to get a good unbaking result. The green circles around the points of the feet show that the points are considered as fulcrum in this frame. We have to make sure that the fulcrum points work correctly on all the intervals. Here the foot leaves the ground and is no longer fulcrum, then here gets in touch with the ground again, and then again leaves the ground. So in this animation, all the intervals have been determined correctly. To learn more about fulcrum points, you can watch the animation on baking tutorial or a dedicated video where I show how you can change the settings of the fulcrum points so they are determined correctly. Links in the description. Now press animation on baking. So we end up with a set of keyframes and various interpolations in the intervals between them. Now I can easily edit the poses in the keyframes. To quickly navigate between the keyframes, hold Shift and press A or D on your keyboard. So let's quickly run through the keyframes and fix the poses. It might as well be helpful to have trajectories displayed for the selected points. So make sure you select the interval on the timeline and enable the display of the trajectories. This animation here did not require a lot of work. But let's say I want to further edit it and make greater changes to it. For example, let's turn it into a sequence of high hops. So let's turn on auto physics. In these intervals here, the character is airborne. So it's kind of jumping already. So let's extend those intervals. To do that, select the frames after the foot leaves the ground and before it touches the ground again, press Ctrl T on your keyboard and drag the interval to enlarge it. See how the height of the jump instantly increase on the physics trajectory. Because now I have more frames of the jump, meaning more time for the character to stay airborne, also physics solves it by adding more height to it. Let's do the same to the second jump as well. Same way I can increase the timing of the whole animation altogether. And now with auto physics I get the animation with high hops in it. I can also apply physics filters to this animation, for example trajectory smoothness, to smooth the trajectory of the center of mass. And now I can snap my animation to auto physics. I can further edit the animation that we got here if I need to. For example, make the jumps longer. Let's select the frame where the character lands after the first jump and all the frames that follow. Enable interval edit mode, we'll use step mode for this one. Select the character's center of mass and drag it to the right. And as you can see here, auto physics has instantly updated the animation according to the changes that we made. And I'll do the same to the second jump. Once done, I can snap the animation once again. The thing is, you can come back to editing your animation at any point. Say I want to change the poses again. I can use animation on baking once again 
But this time I want to keep more keyframes because I want to make more detailed adjustments. To do that, you can change the value of this parameter. The lower the value is, the more keyframes you'll get after unbaking. And once again, I can now make changes to those keyframes. However, do not make changes to the first and the last keyframe if your animation is a cycle. Once I'm done making the changes, I can then use Auto Physics again, but this time with some other algorithms such as secondary motion, and then apply the results. This way you can iterate your animation as many times as you want before you get the result you need. And when it comes to polishing and adding final touches, I prefer to do that without unbaking in the point controller mode instead, just to preserve the rest of the animation. And this is how you can edit any animation that you can get from the assets. So from the initial animation I downloaded from Mixamo, I got this one. So time to get your creative bones out and have some fun. Thanks for watching.